Hi there, this is H. Victoria Hogger Atkerson, I'm an author and a writer, and I would like to share with you uh, some of the books that I've written because I think I've had um, a couple of criticisms about my books that it has a little too, it has too much sex, I don't know, just a little bit of sex, it has too much sex in it, and I think I use, uh, I use sex in my books as a teaching tool and I think it's very important that we uh, examine our behaviors and our our attitudes toward sex in this country I think that's one of the things that we just need to look at more carefully uh, the bottom at bottom is a book that's full of passion and uh, attitudes towards sex and you can see it when uh, say um, People from from different walks of life are are forced to have sex with people they don't want to. This happened all during slavery, and also happened all during segregation. A lot of times, uh, we kid about situations that happen where a mother may have to go to the corner store and have sex with the, <laughs> the grocery man. This has happened, and to to feed her children or she has to have sex with the insurance man to pay her bills. These are situations that our people live through, and sometimes we laugh about them, sometimes we're sad about them. It depends on the person who has to cope with those situations. But there's also a situation in this book that talks about violence toward women, what is expected of them, child abuse, where they are abused by people within their family. Uh, there are all kinds of situations that we need to take a look at and not just sweep under the rug and pretend that it has never existed. For our people, I think it's an issue that we need to, need to examine and to be fully aware of. Uh, I do historical romance and I also do uh, sexual education and I hope that people looking into these books will look at it in that way because I think our attitudes uh, towards sex are often suppressed and we need to be able to teach our children the freedom and the joy of being in a sexual relationship. It's nothing wrong with having sex and it's something that couples should discuss openly and I think we need to be able to share that with our children and also to train them on how to conduct themselves in a relationship where they expect to be a sexual partner to someone else. So those values and principles I hope you will find in these books and I hope it's done in a tasteful way. So uh, that's who I am as a writer. <laughs> so when you pick up one of my books that's what you're going to find. Okay, we talk about this openly and uh, we go from situation to situation. This book here, which is a a kind of a photograph of a neighborhood that that existed in my childhood. I traveled in this neighborhood. I heard people talk, and many times on on the weekends, my mother would be sitting on the on the steps of our house talking to other women. They would be talking about things that happened in Buttermilk Bottom over the weekend and what they heard, the latest thing they heard, and the tragedies. Somebody got stabbed. Somebody got raped. Some someone got shot. Uh, this was the lifestyle in this neighborhood and I have stories uh, that I'm working with hopefully to get those out sometime this year also uh, from people who actually lived in Bottom at Bottom and they are telling their stories and we're just going to take a look at those. I think it's really important and uh, I'm looking forward to going back to Atlanta to look some of these people up so and to get that book finished so that you can read it and know that the stories within here are legitimate because it happened. It happened and this is based on uh, my own uh, research and my own um, experience of being in this neighborhood because I played on these streets. It was called the bottom because it's set in a gigantic ditch. All the, the, um, all the water from the neighborhood above would drain down into this particular neighborhood, this, which was one of the first neighborhoods occupied by blacks after the Civil War. And it was in continuous 
occupation for many, many years. So this is a historical look at life under segregation, life under the oppression of uh, laws that were created to keep blacks from doing anything. I mean, it is the, one of the most uh, vivid accounts of the 50s and 60s that you will find. So take a look at bottom at bottom. It's a great read and a quick read. So take a look at it. It's terrific. <laughs> now, when you get a moment, like my channel and also subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel because this is we are family here. We love it when you send us notes and talk to us on Facebook and on uh, different networks so whatever it is but I have a my own website which I want you to take a look at and if you're interested this this year well to start joining us we'll be going on a cruise in February so you have from now to February to pay for it we're going out we're going to do a book club at sea which is my own book club and we're going to talk about my books in detail we'll have meals together we'll have tea together we're going some trips together I mean it's going to be a lot of fun so you come and join us it's going to be great and you're going to be going at a reduced rate so be sure to sign up on my website okay so you take care love to you love to your family and be good be good <laughs> above all else take care